Hi guys, Dr. Nick here. So today I just wanted to explain um, something about VNS vagal nerve stimulation because I have patients that ask me how do I use it properly because I do get a lot of patients to actually use that at home. So it's more of the technical part today in terms of how to put the ear clips on properly so that you can feel the stimulation and do the actual therapy. So first, what I usually use is actually this uh, TENS machine. It's a pretty uh, simple one, it's very cheap and affordable, probably like uh, less than $60 on Amazon. So it's called a TENS 7000. So it comes with two cords and it comes with push pin uh, wires in order to be able to use the actual ear clips. So there's two different kinds of ear clips. There's ones that are like this, it's a white extension one, and you have the metal clip inside here. And then you have these black ones where you put the push pin in here and it's a rubber with the metal kind of back in there. So usually what I get my patients to do is um, hook them on. So you see you have the wire, push pin, push pin um, entrance for the actual ear clip. Put them in, get them going. And then <clears throat> now, so the first thing if you can, I'd always say try to wipe your ear clean if you have any dirt in there. And also if you want to wet it in order to, as a trick, in order to help the conductance but in terms of the red and, and black wires it doesn't matter which one goes uh, where on the ear it's more specific towards trying to get without being very technical in terms of the names of the ear but trying to get it within the inside of the ear and you want the metal part you want the metal part of the clip to actually get into the inside of the ear so that's the goal we're trying to do there so simply I can try that right now see if I can get it in there so because we're trying to get this area that's actually affected uh, by the vagus nerve. So this is an auricular nerve that actually is um, innervated also or is, uh, is part of the, the vagal nerve system. So we're trying, to re we're trying to get that part going in order to be able to stimulate indirectly the vagus nerve. So that's how it kind of looks. So just make sure always that the actual metal tip is actually touching the physical ear because of course um, if it's not then nothing is going to work and then once you have that on then you're ready to go in terms of turning on the machine so we give patients specific kind of um, indications based on their indications hertz uh, frequencies to actually use um, for themselves and try it out but once you get that in you turn it on and in terms of the intensity we don't want it to be very intense we want a slight tapping uh, sensation not pain if it's pain it means you're doing it wrong so you don't have to feel something hardcore in order to feel to get a better effect it's more in terms of you just want to feel a slight tapping on the ear and the inside in order to say okay it is there then once you feel that tapping decrease a little bit so it's it's subtle enough that it's not painful at all and then you do that for the certain time that your doctor has told you to do so same thing with these clips if you were to use them you put the rubber side on the inside of the ear. Of course, this would be hooked up. So you have it inside, and then on the, of course, you have your second one there, and same idea, and you can do both at the same time. So I know different schools do different ways of, of utilizing um, VNS, but this is just the way that I, I kind of tell patients. So I hope that helped. I hope that answers the question in terms of how to actually clip these uh, ear clips on in order to have the most successful uh, VNS treatment. So thanks for watching. Continue to follow me so you can see new videos as we go through new kind of therapies.